let's take a quick look at a new feature in Pro Tools 12, the ability to use Windows Audio. So if you've been a Pro Tools user on Windows, you'll know that usually we'll have to use an ASIO compatible interface, or if we don't have that, maybe we're editing on our laptop, so we'll just have our iLock plugged in, and we'll have to use something like the ASIO for all driver in order to get sound from our laptop speakers, our computer speakers, headphone jack on the computer, what have you. But if we look here in Pro Tools 12, come up to Setup and Playback Engine, you'll notice under Playback Engine, under our dropdown, we have the ability to use Windows Audio Device, or WAS API. Okay, so right now I'm using the 11 rack, and just to show that that works. So that's coming from my monitors that are connected to my 11 rack. So let's go ahead and switch over to our Windows Audio device. Then we have a pop-up telling us that our session will shut down and reopen with these new settings. That's fine. And you can see my playback engine is the Windows Audio device. I don't have any inputs for this device, and the outputs are the my computer speakers connected directly to my computer, and all this is fine. We'll hit OK. Just check out how this works. Let our session reopen. And as you can see, we get a dialog box saying some inputs are missing. We kind of expect that since we don't have any inputs for our Windows Audio device. I don't need to save a report. Let this open up. And right there it is. If I come over here to my I.O., you'll see I don't have any interface um, inputs available. And that's expected. And let me come up here to Setup and Playback Engine. And you can see, yes, indeed, we are using the Windows Audio device. Okay, pretty cool. Let me uh, just set this up real quick. Let me put my output for Expand here on a bus. I'll put my input on a bus, if it was 1314, just to show that it indeed does work. Let me open up BFD3 first, make sure my groove palette is off. I'll just hit record on this, and let's just see if we can record just a little bit of audio. Alright, that'll do. We'll go ahead and stop playback. We come over here to our edit window. You see that we actually recorded our MIDI data and we recorded the audio as well. So I'll mute our instrument track and we'll come back to the beginning. Awesome, so that's coming right out of my computer speakers. Now I'll mute the audio and uh, we'll bring expand two back up. We'll go ahead and play back those MIDI notes. And I'll make sure I change my output to my main speakers and we'll play back. All right, cool. So we were able to do some basic operations using our Windows Audio, WAS API, as our interface. I'll just open up BFD3 here real quick. Once again, let me put this output onto a bus, just so we can record this audio at the same time. Usually I wouldn't do this, but for the video, it makes it easy for me to splice it in later. And we'll just pull this over here, come back to the beginning, make sure our track is on. I have a... Uh, track already set up down here drum track so let me just hit record here and we'll record the audio coming from bfd3 Okay, there we go. So let's make sure we recorded that. Right there is our recorded audio up here on the audio channel three. And we'll go back to the beginning and hit play. So there we go. We actually recorded that audio and we can edit just as we usually would. Move my track around. I want to draw in a fade here or uh, separate some things. So now with Pro Tools 12, we have the ability to use Pro Tools on our computer without any interface and without having to go in and download a third-party driver like ASIO for all. Now, this wasn't mentioned in any of the readmes. There was a little blurb about it in some of the known issues of using this feature, WAS API or Windows Audio. So be sure to check that out in the uh, Windows readme for Pro Tools 12. But this is a pretty cool feature and things are definitely looking good for Pro Tools 12, especially on Windows, now that we really have the freedom to use Pro Tools anywhere. So go check it out at avid.com.